very well here. We're having some uh, growing pains, some difficulties, um, but we're getting we're getting to it soon. And by the way, the background behind me will be changing very quickly, just to let everybody know, because they did start painting last Tuesday, and oh my, oh my. The pink is going to be on gone on the house. It's all going to be one color of gray, and then the trim is going to be white. And we now have a blue door. There is going to be a blue door, and you guys are going to be very excited about this door that was put in. It took uh, they took out the um, the whole frame and put in a whole new door, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I can't wait to go back and open the door and close the door. Anybody, I'm um, question for you. Uh, we put up the, uh, we put, a, we put a deadbolt in, but on the deadbolt, we put the push button number so you can have a code to get into the house instead of just having a key. That way, if somebody's coming over to do some work, you can give them a code. Or if my mother-in-law is just going out under the, uh, for a walk, she can just put out, the, put the code in and lock it and not have to take keys with her. Not worried about being locked out. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe somebody can answer this question for me. Can you get that for your garage door? Yes, you can. Garage doors have codes on them. Correct. Correct. I have it on mine. I was able to answer that myself. I'm becoming such a professional. Um, back to school. Everybody, all the kids are back to school this week. Traffic was all fucked up. Chris? <laughs> you, well, you should uh, uh, mention the, the Pearl shirts that you have. I will mention the Pearl shirts later on. We have a little advertisement for uh, people that are going back to school, your kids. We got uh, on ianbag.com. You can go there. Also, uh, before we mention the Pearl shirts, my wife has started a clothing line. She's doing some fashion stuff. She's doing some fashion because she, uh, we, she did a bunch of uh, she did a bunch of promo stuff for uh, Pearl shirts, and they sold out immediately, faster than my normal shirts do. So she is going to be starting something, and you want to follow her if you would like. We'd appreciate that. If you would like to follow her on Instagram, she has started an Instagram, and it's called Hobo Junk. Hobo Junk on, uh, on um, Instagram. H-O-B-O-J-U-N-K-K. That's right. <laughs> Ivan Dig. He's I, by the way, I will be meeting Ivan in two weeks, just to let everybody know. Uh, he will be coming up to Terrace, British Columbia with me. We will be doing a benefit. Where I, every year I do a benefit concert up there. I bring a couple comedians and a musician in, Ivan. And I, ca I call him Daigle, but I'm pretty sure it's Dag will be coming up and he will be doing a couple songs for my people that I grew up with. Matt Yates also said he's buying his first home and he's super nervous. Do you have any advice? Yatesy. Um, yeah, here, here's the thing. Okay, so um, they make it uh, much more terrifying than it is. I'm going to write, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take a couple steps right now. If you've already started your process, uh, you have been uh, approved for the amount of money that you want to spend on a house. I hope that you didn't get greedy and go above what you can spend on a house. I hope you can um, you can do it. Uh, don't uh, you have a certain amount of money for your down payment? If you have a bunch more, and I was I was given this advice and I I split it in half. Uh, they said don't if you have uh, if you have a hundred thousand dollars for your down payment, and you only need uh, eighty five, put down eighty five. Don't put down a hundred thousand because then you got $15,000 extra to spend on things that are gonna surprise you because there will be surprises. Uh, I did the opposite. I put 90,000 down, kept $10,000 for the surprises. Um, make sure that you, uh, uh, make sure that you, you, can, you can afford the house. You gotta live someplace. So if you can't afford the house and if you are out of work for a couple months and you lose the house because you couldn't keep up with the house payments, you, you, you knew you were in trouble at the beginning, all right? So Yatesy, if you are in it, right? If you are in it to win it, you are prepared on all those things and there's nothing to be nervous about. You can, uh, I don't know how old, does Yatesy say how old he is? Nope. Single, single Yates, uh, are you, oh, Facebook, Facebook stock him, find out how old he is. Cause I want to say if you're, if you're single and you buy a house, you always have the opportunity to have your house payments made, right? You can always have a roommate and you can always cover most of your costs for your mortgage, okay? Uh, second, thing, second thing is once you buy that house, they really, they really make it more uh, intimidating than it is. 
uh, which makes me laugh because they make it the hardest thing for you to buy. But it, it's weird to buy a house. Why make it so hard for you to buy? Because they know where you are. You're buying a house to live in. They know how to get a hold of you. They know how to fucking take it away from you. It's a house. It can't be moved. I don't. It, car, cars should be much more hard to buy than than a house. Uh, sorry, Yates. Yes. Uh, based on Yates's photos, uh, two little kids, bald head, big beard. Oh, 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 uh, my that's... guess is. Uh, <laughs> Are we talking about Yates or the kids? Yates. Okay. <laughs> my guess is thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Let's see if I'm right. Yates, you got your wife and you got your two kids there. Uh, you're gonna love it. Don't be nervous, man. Uh, you had a, you have, if you've had two kids, that's what you should have been way more nervous about. You can, if you're able to keep those two kids uh, from uh, uh, disappearing off the face of the earth, and you're, you're going to be able to keep a house, no problem. Just like your kids, there's going to be some broken bones, some things that you aren't expecting, some toys that you buy that you shouldn't have bought, uh, some toys that you buy that just are lying around, some toys that help out your house. So it's the same thing. Don't be nervous, Yates. Be excited. Let that energy go into excitement. And don't turn into your grandpa and yell at everybody when they run through the house. Um, and remember, this is this is this is the biggest tip for me and Bag right here. What do we got here? Uh, where has Mike been? <laughs> Mike has gone off on his own. Mike won't be back again. If you're looking for Mike, uh, you can go to kindertrump.com. That's where Mike is. Uh, Mike is. Mike, we've released Mike from his uh, from the house. We ex we appreciate all his help on the show but mike uh has taken off and gone and do his things uh he's got his own projects that he wants to work on he doesn't want to be part of the in bag crew he wants to be part of the mike benedetto crew uh um um we're going back to yatesy now we're going back to yatesy is yatesy still talking to us he hasn't fucking yatesy you ask that question and then you go for a shit come on speaking of poops yates uh we re we replaced the toilet in our California house this week, and a um, couple questions. These are for the people. When you buy a toilet, do you uh, do you get the exact same toilet, or do you buy something else that is different? First of all, chances are you're not going to be able to get the ex exact same toilet because those toilets uh, the technology grows. So less water flow, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So you're not going to be able to get the same toilet. We did not get the same toilet. We did, I want to say this, guys. We got a different toilet, and I really like it. It is a longer bowl. It kind of doesn't, the last one was a round one. This one comes out. I dribble less on the floor when I'm peeing for my wife right there. Boom. She's all like, she's always complaining about me dribbling on the floor when I go pee. A longer thing. Now I step above it. My dick goes straight down, right into the bowl, dribble, dribble, right into the bowl, okay? But it is higher. It sits about, I don't know, about six inches higher, right? So now it feels like I'm sitting on this stool. And this isn't, this isn't pooping, uh, this is, I know this, this is construction still, but this isn't pooping, uh, this is not the way you're supposed to sit when you poop. You're supposed to be a little bit lower. Right, the old toilet was lower and it was more comfortable, so we had to get a uh, a squatty potty. So my knees go up in the air now, and I don't even know. I don't even think my wife's feet touch the ground when she's sitting on it. To be honest with you, that's how tall it is. It's bizarre as shit. I don't know how we ended up getting a taller toilet. Guys, uh, Chris, do you know do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, well, I mean, every every uh, toilet to me is t is tall. So. That's right. I forgot. Chris is five foot one. Uh, Renee, do you know what I'm talking about? Have you ever had to replace a toilet? Um, I have never had to replace a toilet, but I don't have any problems uh, peeing because my, my thing hangs pretty Your low. schlong? It hangs inside the bowl. It hangs inside the bowl. That's, it actually, I put a brush on it, and it cleans the upper t part of the bowl <laughs> while I'm in there. I love it. Oh, my God. All right, I'm a dribbler. Fuck you guys. <laughs> oh, that's why Mike had too big of a cock to be on this show. This is for little cocks. <laughs> oh, my God. What, what a morning. Oh, my God. Uh, 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 so we've talked about it. Um, back to school. I want to talk about it one more time. Back to school. We tried to start it, and then we got that asked that question. Some guy passed me. He was beside me on, on the freeway coming up here today, and his kid was on the honor roll. And it bothered me because it's the first day of school. 
So I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, how you're, you're obviously faking it. You've obviously stole that off of somebody else. It's like every team's in first place on the first day. Oh, that's funny. I didn't even think about that. My kid is the smartest kid in my cl- in the class. And then they, uh, day one. Midway, halfway through the season. And then Milwaukee Brewers are out yeah, the, a day the two. Yeah. <laughs> the Padres, yeah. Hey, have you ever been to the Padres Stadium? Yeah, yeah it's really nice. It's really that's what nice. somebody told me the other day. They're like, it's. That's it's the most insane stadium. If you go during a Dodger game, it's it's filled with Dodger fans. It's they call it uh, Dodger Stadium South. It, <laughs> really? Why is it because? No, because because the Latinos it's fight afterwards. What's that? Uh, uh, is is it a nice stadium though? It is. It's really nice. What what makes it so nice? Is, is it's there, just uh, the atmosphere. There's a lot of bars. There's like a park area inside. It, it's a very family. Is it in a ravine like like Dodger Stadium? No, no, no. it's in the city. It's in Gaslamp. Oh, I like the city ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because you could you could bar hop, go to the game, and then continue to bar hop after. Yeah. Because I went to, I went I went uh, I went down to San Diego for uh, my friend's bachelor party, and uh, we went to this bar and it was you could see almost see into the the field. From a from the bar patio, it was that close to. Oh, I like those. Those are yeah. Those isn't isn't. Have you been to Baltimore's? Baltimore's is downtown. That's the one yeah, that. Camp, Camping Yards. So, Camping Yards was the first uh, stadium that they built with that. Uh, the that sunken. Nature. It's sunken a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and they built it in town. They they got the the architect the architect who did the uh, the, the Camping Yards. She's not working at the Dodger Stadium. She's renovating the entire place for the All Star Game next year. Oh really? Yeah. Be awesome. Yeah. That'll be fun. Have you been to Cleveland? Cleveland's another Never. one that's a little. I like that one too. It's in the city as well. Yeah, it's in, it's insured. It's insured. It's insured at the Wad Zoo. Um, um, Wrigley Field is fun. Have, have you ever been there? Wrigley Field is, but it, it's it's <sighs> it's it, it is a little cramped. Your elbow to elbow with your elbow to elbow. But my big thing about Wrigley Field is just everybody's ah, nah, they're, they're almost you know they're they're a little pansyish about their team there. It's because they have such history though. Yeah, but I don't give a shit. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like let's let's go have fun. Like the have, whole. Have you been to Fenway? Uh, I the, what is it? Uh, Boston. No, I've not been to Boston. The other, I, I want to go to the other Chicago stadium, but I'm terrified to go there. That one's fun. It is fun. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Seems uh, like that you'd get more you. Better chance of being stabbed at that one than actually in uh, LA. In Compton. Yeah, in Compton. I had a friend who, uh, who who was telling me like one of his he's from Southside, and they would have to replace a lot of the, the seats when they were constructing it because there was bullet holes. <laughs> really? <laughs> During construction, people were just shooting up the stadium. That is awesome. We don't want your fucking stadium here. Uh, Daniel Giles says Seattle Stadium is nuts. I've never I've never been to that one, but. My friend, my uh, a friend of mine told me when they were building the new hockey stadium in Newark, uh, there was a construction company on top of it doing something to the uh, doing something to the uh, roof, and they watched their truck get stolen as they were up there. <laughs> hmm. Charlie Brown's teacher was there for a minute. Apparently, there, there was a little audio glitch. Hold on, I, I gotta I gotta respond to Leslie Pelche. Uh Lester, invited you guys out to the show. I figured it's because you're all uh, uh, pregnant and stuff that you you, you couldn't guys couldn't come out to the show. But I uh, I definitely invited you. I definitely invited you guys out to the show. So just to let you know, let's go from to newest. Uh, it's a comfort height toilet. Hmm. I don't know how John has already been in my house to poop. But he seems to find that my toilet is a comfort height. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I actually talked about Leslie on the radio. Uh, Leslie used to be a radio person, and now she's a vet. Not she didn't go to war. She deals with animals, and I think she deals mostly with ho- horses. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think that's what she does. Um. <laughs> We have, uh, jo- Josh Cowan says, I'm hoping I can learn some house building tips, learning about sports ball fields. Huh, <laughs> Josh, um, I'm pretty sure this is how uh, you learn. How many seats do you need in your house? You fucking go to a stadium. You see how many seats are in that goddamn house? Seats. Ever seen the lawn? Ever seen the lawn of a, yeah, of a ball field? It's Fantastic. The best lawn I've ever seen. That's right. At a hockey arena, you ever see the, uh, where they put the Zambonis? Amazing garage. Ever seen the plumbing at the trough at oh Dodger my God. Stadium? Yes. Have you ever seen 40 grown men pee together? 
<laughs> Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want that? You know what makes me laugh about going to any sort of stadium event? That one guy that poops. <laughs> like everybody, it's an intermission and everybody's trying to pee as fast and some, some dude's just got explosive diarrhea in there. Every time, it doesn't matter. There's always one guy with, uh, with whatever that, oh, Crohn's disease, just going for it. And everything's always wet. Like yeah. everything's just completely wet. In those uh, restrooms. It just, whenever I go in there, I just think Rome must have been a lot like this because there's just it's every it's just there's just piss everywhere all yeah. over the well, the Colosseums they how did they they must have had a bathroom somewhere in there. no they just killed they killed the Christians and then <laughs> they, beat they on killed them. the poopers the poopers <laughs> the poopers uh, guys I'm talking about emergency plans and now we're on to we're on to uh, we're talking about uh, stadium bathrooms uh, we should just name this episode the shitters <laughs> yeah. uh um, I wanted I wanted to bring up uh, a couple things for being prepared in uh, whatever town you live in, uh, because everybody has a different um, uh, an emergency uh, in their in their hometown. Oh my God, fucking! Now I'm just getting the United fucking apps coming up. What to do def- before and during uh, and after a hurricane? Okay, so if you live in the hurricane area. Um, this is uh this is good for you because a lot of people be prepared for the hurricane when it hits but you need to be prepared prepared you need to be prepared for afterwards that's when that's when shit's going to go down it's going to be horrible and if you survive the uh the hurricane you're going to be stuck now without help chances are emergency um services are not going to get to you so you're going to have to be able to survive so uh, before a hurricane, make a plan. Um, and me and my wife have this for, um, f- for uh, earthquakes and also tidal waves. We have a plan where we're going to meet if we can't get each other by the phone. So we have some place. And I'm not going to tell you guys because you dicks will show up in the middle of an emergency. So I'm not going to tell you guys that. Hey, Ian. Yes. Since we had the little glitch, um, we didn't get a chance to show the, the graphic that Chris Oh, we made. didn't show the graphic? No. Let's do it before we start this. Everybody, well, let's show the graphic of what we're doing today because we were, we were supposed to be a little bit more prepared, but we had an emergency. So let us <laughs> Hurricane back, knocking everything down to your feet. Hey, everybody, be prepared for a hurricane. Be prepared for whatever disaster might hit your area. Uh, make a plan. Create a disaster kit. That's the other thing that you should do before you do it. Fill all your gas tanks. One of the things that I do a joke about gas tanks, but one of the things my wife and I fight about is not letting the tank get below a quarter of a tank. So you can be able to leave the community. You have to get away far after an earthquake or uh, some sort of event. Ha- if you have a full tank, you can make it to Vegas. You can make it to up closer to San Francisco or over to San Diego, wherever you need to go to get. Uh, don't leave your don't. If something's happening, be prepared. And, and I think you should always be prepared with everything that goes on now. Uh, have a full tank of gas. Don't go down to a quarter. And Josh Count said, also take a look at Lowe's to see what you could loot. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I didn't say that. I was going to say, be prepared by checking which stores don't prepare and being able to kick their window open (laughs) easy and take whatever they have in the front. Well, isn't it always good to also have uh, one of those dry food uh, things, hurricane kits? Well, the people that live in hurricane areas should have a hurricane kit. People that live in, um, we have uh, earthquake kits. Do you guys have earthquake kits? I should. You should. You can buy them at Lowe's. You can buy them at Walmart. You can buy them at Target. Here comes Renee, two kids. I don't have one. I do have one. You do have one? Yes. One for the whole family. Well, it's, it's Guys, you want to share this tuna together? <laughs> It's a bunch of, uh, uh, M- what are they called? M- MREs? MR, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a bunch of, yeah. And, uh, uh, solar blankets. A gun. <laughs> Does it have a gun in it? It has a flare gun in it. So you can shoot a guy so you can shoot a guy in the chest and let everybody else know you did it. Yeah. <laughs> no, just a gun so that when society breaks down you can uh, be the victor. By the way, can I can I can I I know we're not supposed to talk about political things here, but uh, my political belief, I don't believe in 
ARs, AKs. I don't think anybody should be able to have them. I think they're 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 made for murder. If you need to use if you need to use it to hunt, you're a horrible hunter. And then somebody's going to say, "What about boars?" Well, they've been killing boars way before their AKs and AR-15s, and people use uh, bow and arrows and all that kind of stuff. So if you need if you need you don't need it, right? They're they're there to kill people. And somebody said to me, uh, and I'm like what about my neighborhood what if something goes down and i i'm like you need 110 bullets without reloading like if you can't take everybody out in nine bullets you have fucking bought a horrible house in a horrible neighborhood you are in the movie the purge so don't if you can't do it in nine you don't need to do it that's what i say political talk done <laughs> uh during a hurricane stay inside stay away from the window skylights and glass doors do do Shouldn't you, uh, do you have, do you have to board up everything, correct? You're supposed to be, uh, you're supposed to, um, you should prepare by, uh, by, uh, not boarding or if you have, um, the shutters like we do, all that kind of stuff, you should be able to, uh, prepare that kind of stuff. So if the flooding threatens your home, turn off the electricity at the main breaker. I'm sure a lot of people don't do this. Uh, and that would be because you don't want, uh, electrical energy running through all the water. Also, be beforehand, have everything charged. If you know that if you know there's a hurricane coming at you, make sure that you have charges. Um, we have these things. I don't know if you guys have these things. We're going back to earthquakes. We have all these. Uh, they're called. They're, they're like a. They're the size of a cell phone. They charge. They sit in the wall. They're also night lights, mm. but they charge and hold the charge. But they you can also use them as a light. Okay. So I, I've seen the something similar to that where you can. Um charge different devices as well and it's solar powered i know the one you're talking about yeah there's a solar power one i have these we have five of them they all plug in around the house let's see what renee's got here what's this so this is a, a power thing this is a solar charge how much is this about going for 20. 20 bucks it, 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 takes, good. it takes a few hours to charge but it charges up but if you're, it takes a few hours, but after an emergency, yeah, yeah, you've got a few hours on your hands. Oh, yeah, you can yeah, do yeah, that, sure. so it's okay. You can and hook it up to your backpack, and then it's charging while you're walking in the sun. How long does the charge last inside this? It charges my battery, my phone fully, and then it still has enough to do my wife's. But if you don't charge anything, can you leave it there for like a week, and it'll still yeah, be charged? Yeah, because any time it's hit, getting hit by any light, it's, it's getting a little bit of a charge. And where is this from? China. No. <laughs> <laughs> what store? Hey, dude, oh I my god, I love it. Yeah, China. Amazon. Uh, you you buy them on Alibaba. That, one of these? Yeah. And how much is that? Twenty bucks? Yeah, twenty bucks. That's pretty good. Alibaba. You can buy them in bulk. Oh, how many? Uh, well, you sell them. I'm I'm gonna actually buy a couple of these afterwards. And is this a light? Yeah. So oh, it turns on. Okay. Right there, it turns on. Boom. So you get the blue light. What's the blue light used for? Something like if you look to check to see if water is going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Blue light. Oh, see, look, check that out. That. And it has the emergency. That's a pretty good light, actually. Wow. The dimmer, and if you're on the side of the road. Or if you know somebody with seizures. <laughs> <laughs> you can just make sure that there they shut up during the whole event and give them a seizure. There's a lot of. There's a lot. There's and, a and it charges by plugging it in. You can plug it in. And for the people listening, it's a, it's a, it's a size of a phone. It charges, it char it'll charge your things, but it's also got a light on it. It's got emergency light on it. It's got uh, many different lights. If uh, you should have one, you should definitely have one. And it, it, uh, I think everybody should have some sort of solar charge device in their house. We are at that point where we can do it. There's no need that you shouldn't have one. So I'm going to give you guys shit right there. Um, okay, so during the hurricane, um, so we told you to turn off the, turn off the, and don't you, uh, it says don't use your electrical devices, and it, that's including your computer. Um, I would say during a, a hurricane, you probably would not get uh, Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Everything would be knocked out, so you're just wasting the power on your computer, uh, unless that's the time you need to write your fucking book. In your graphic novel about a hurricane uh try not to use your try not to during the event try not to use all your power uh do not go outside if the eye of the storm passes over your air there will be a short period of calm 
But on the other side of the eye, the wind speed rapidly increases to the hurricane force and will come from the opposite direction. Also, do not go outside to see how the wind feels. It's easily, it's, it's easy to be hit by debris, okay? During wind things, it's easy to be hit by debris. And we say this, but when we were in, uh, when we were in Virginia this uh, summer, my friend and I, we sat on the porch and watched a huge storm and stuff flew right by our head that could have killed us. And, you know, uh, you know, just try to be smart out there. Uh, after the hurricane, more deaths and injuries occur after the hurricane hits than during. Do you know that, Renee? Really? Did you know that, Chris? I, did, I didn't, I didn't know that. More deaths and injury and injuries occur after the hurricane hits than during. This is because people are too anxious to get outside, survey the damage, and come into contact and and come into contact with other people. Uh, as they are doing this, they uh, they uh, they come in, in contact with power lines or unstable trees, and that is not good. People are electrocuted and hit by trees. Uh, um, Josh Cowens also said to make sure you put your brake on your trailer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Josh, very smart. Oh, you, the best way is take your wheels off before the wind comes. That's what I say. <laughs> put it on some cement bricks and just put it on the wheels. You know what's funny is uh, we got a clock. We got a clock to uh, for the show. We forgot to start it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, I'll have to take a picture of it. Uh, da, 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 da. Do not touch fallen or hanging low wires under any circumstances. Do not tr touch trees or objects in contact with these powers. Uh, use phones for emergencies only and call 911 for life-threatening situations. Call police and utility companies immediately and report hazards such as downed power lines, broken gas, or water, dr water mains, overturned gas tanks, or other dangerous situations you come across, which you shouldn't come across because you're still supposed to be still in the house. Uh, so be careful with that. And by the way, if, uh, if you'll hear the gas leaking, if it's leaking, uh, get away from that situation. Don't stay in the house if it's leaking. Uh, watch for weakened roads, bridges, and tree limbs. Porches could collapse uh, unexpectedly as flood uh, as the flood waters decrease. Um, uh, a lot of people get now that are in these areas get um, um, they get generators, so gas generators. Make sure that you have the ja gas generator outside. Don't have it inside where you can give yourself. CO2 poisoning. Yeah. Um, I feel like a lot of this should be, it should be just obvious, but I guess. It should be obvious, but you know, it's, it, you, if you're somebody that isn't prepared or doesn't, doesn't do this, you know, a lot, a simple mistake be can become a tragedy, tragedy very quickly. Um, those with special medications, such uh, special medications, should uh, should uh, uh, you should you should you should put it in a lockbox or something something so your stuff doesn't get um, you know your stuff doesn't get wet and or it doesn't get floated away and put it in a lockbox in the house someplace that it will not disappear. Uh, it says <laughs> bring food and snacks. Meals meals may not be available for the first twenty four hours. Um, I would go 36 on that, especially if you're, I know it sounds stupid when you're like, well, if it's in a populated area, why would it be 36? I would say 36 in a populated area because there's so many people, they're not going to be able to get to you. And you must remember that emergency service people also have their own families and well-being, so they have to take care of those as well. So don't just don't be selfish and think, oh, well, they're coming to get me. It's you're 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 absolutely on your own for the first little while. Um, be prepared to be on your own. All right. And by the way, FedEx and all Amazon packages will stop being uh, delivered during those. <laughs> A lot of people are going to be expecting their Amazon packages, and I'm sure some dick will be ordering something in the middle of the storm. Uh, that is not the time to order order your preparedness kit. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, hold on. I'm. That's the other thing you should do before. Huh? Sarah Newberger's taking me time. Oh, she, she. I can't see her any of her stuff on here. You can't? No. Is it on? Oh, she's on the, the DMV account. 
Oh, is that what happens? Because there's two. There's two? Well, you have Ian Bag and then Ian Bag bought a house once. I can't keep up. And I think she mentioned that uh, when we were talking about the stadium and how wet this, the, the, the restrooms are, she said those are the dribblers. Oh, now I'm watching myself watch myself. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> I can see why people don't watch this show. Uh, what else? Um, I wanted to be... I wanted to be... Nice. Um, nice. Somebody stole my package. Wait, what? Right now? Yeah, somebody stole my package I sent to somebody. What? That's fucking great. I sent... We're going to talk about t-shirts. I'm just getting a message from Marty DeFrisco. He, uh, attention, received without contents. Huh. Well, that's just fucking great. That's the first one of these. Well, fuck is my response to him. People just trying to cost me money, sending people T-shirts, and they're fucking the U.S. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to complain because out of uh, all the T-shirts I've sent, that's the first one that's uh, been that way. We've had them go to wrong addresses. We've had other stuff like that, but that's the first one. Um, how long have we been on here, Chris? How long uh, have we been talking? 34. 34 minutes. All right. Should we show the shirt? Uh, yeah. Uh, that's a perfect time to bring up. Uh, as, uh, as you see, I send out all the stuff that goes out. Uh, to, uh, but uh, guys, guys and girls, if you uh, want to support me, you support me by doing this. Buy my T-shirt. My T-shirt right now that we have for sale, we're sold out of the Ian Bag Drop It shirt, which is my mini pearl holding a hockey stick. And right now we have her with a surfboard. Uh, we have many different types. Right now we're selling the children's shirt. And as you see it right here, is it on it, Chris? Yes. It's on. Uh, you can see um, uh, this T-shirt here. We have uh, we have kids small and medium. We have it in neon yellow. We have it in uh, worker or prisoner orange. We have it in a uh, blue. What colors? Uh, what colors your son's shirt? What color was that? Is it a royal blue? I want to say yes. A royal blue. We have it in a royal blue, and we also have it in black. We also have this shirt in uh, unisex for men and women. And uh, you can purchase it on the on the website ianbag.com. We also have a sexy little shirt for the ladies that comes in mediums and small. It's a female cut, women's small and medium, and it's a light blue. If you want to show your girl boobs off and you want to let them know how you feel about Ian Bag, put two lumps in the middle of mini pearl that are called titties, and buy that shirt ianbag.com for all your t-shirts needs and children will be the talk of their school when they walk in with the t-shirt with Minnie Pearl and her surfboard. Coming soon, the book, Minnie Pearl and the Ocean. So make sure you check that out. Back to the show. All right, we're back. And we're back. That was quite the advertisement that I did. It wasn't yeah. a live read, but it was live. Oh, my I, God. I mean, I would consider that kind of a live read. Was that a live read? Because I didn't read it. I just kind of made it up as we go uh, I want to do, uh, before we go, I want to talk about uh, being prepared for an earthquake. Because it is a little bit different. Uh, five things, and I know Sarah hates it when I do a list. Five things you must have in your earthquake bag. Um, five things you must have in your earthquake bag. The bag. That's right. We're not just saying this because it's in, it's in our name. So many of us start preparations with the food and the water and some multi-tools, and those are great but you need something to put it in, all right? And I, uh, one thing that they never tell you in this is where to hide it. Have you ever heard that, Renee, Chris? Have you ever heard where to hide your, where, for your stuff? No. I have, because we have two, we have one in the, we actually have three. We have one in the car, we have two in the closet in the spare bedroom, and we have one in the garage. You need to put them in places where aren't obvious and they're easy to get to. Yes, but what if something happens to that room? That's that's the problem, you know. When it, when it, when there's an earthquake, what if you're unable to get to that area? Yeah, and you can't keep it in your car because when you you don't want it in the heat when you're parked somewhere. Uh, we keep it uh, we keep it hidden. Why 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 do you say because well, it makes your bullets of your like gun go off? Food or something. If it's uh, like an but the emergency kit. But the emergency but that that's all sealed and dried and, and you're able to. It's not. It's if not. If they're canned. Yes. You'll you'll the heat will fuck it up. You know what's interesting? Uh, 
that's different than an earthquake and you think it would be the same water purification tablets is the second thing they say you should have and those come in the case in, in the kits that we have and they have straws which make it easier nice they're like 20 dollars straws and you could just suck 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 it through uh <laughs> swamp water you can just you can just <laughs> suck it you can i tell you if you're what, what you're gonna do for three days you're gonna suck it uh it says actually you should be prepared for three days of no water after an earthquake which is more than the um well if you don't have water for three days you die yeah but in the other one it was 24 hours for the for the hurricane and this one's three days you should be prepared for three days it's because a hurricane leaves water outside yeah but it leaves <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. i don't even know why i deal with this with you guys this is why we have experts on not fucking us doing this show um um, I also have delivery water. Do you get, do you get water delivered? Uh, no, we, uh, we go to Costco and buy the water. How many, how many, it. how many do you buy at a time? Uh, we buy usually 24 of the gallon bottles. Oh, so it's every, every, every two weeks. So we have the five gallon, we have the five gallon jugs that are put on our, on our, on our balcony. So we have. I have I I kind of spread them around so that there will be water as well. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I should be able to have a business running out of my home if we ever have an earthquake. Do you know Mexicans put water bottles in, on their front lawn so cats don't shit on it? What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're gonna take a, we're gonna discuss this for a second. Go back. It's some theory. You and by the way, just to let you know. Uh, Renee may be uh, able to apply for jobs that we won't get as white guys. <laughs> just to let you know, it's just not some white guy yelling out Mexican. They, um, there's a, like a, I don't know if it's an old wives' tale or not, but um, it's it, it kind of works. So if you put like a water jug on your lawn, how big of a water jug? It could be like a gallon or bigger, like a five gallon. How many? Several. You you lay them, you put them around the lawn, and cats don't come and shit. Well, that's because it's all taken up by water bottles. <laughs> my mom my mom used to have them in the front yard in the backyard like maybe like four in the backyard randomly placed and they don't come and shit you know what else uh, scares cats out of your yard shotguns <laughs> pallet gun shotguns i didn't know i had no idea i have a cat that walks on my truck so windshield oh. that's what drives me nuts uh, first aid kit you should have off off grid light source. We already talked about that. One thing that we didn't talk about is a mylar sleeping bag. Oh yeah. And, and the mylar is from what I, it's that silver kind of uh, aluminum kind of looking stuff, right? Yeah. 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 Those are very uncomfortable things. Well, Sarah Newberg is going hard on you. Yeah. Why? Why? What's she going? She said there's four things that make you look old. She said those sideburns, the height of your hat. The glasses and your frown. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. And she's a top wow. fan. <laughs> fucking Sarah. There's those sideburns are getting fucking taken off very soon. I hate sideburns. That came out of nowhere. Just fucking flying out of nowhere. Oh, this show's going a little bit into overtime. So I'm gonna have to tell fucking Sarah to fuck off. The height of my hat? <laughs> It's down on lock, so it doesn't blow off my head during the hurricane. So is this a, is this how high should I wear it up higher? <laughs> <laughs> is that better? Does that make me look younger? <laughs> Going in and the glasses? She said something about the glasses as well. The sunglasses are not sunglasses. They're fucking. Shaded fucking visual glasses. That's what you know what makes me look old? The fact that when I have to do this. That makes me look old. When I have to fucking put my face against the fucking cell phone to read it. Oh my god. This is why people don't get along with lesbians. <laughs> you know what? Jeffrey Paul wants to know where's the, the, the St. Louis blues swag? Uh, I have it at home. <laughs> I was actually going to wear it today, Jeffrey Paul. Jeffrey Paul, Stanley Cup ring wear. 
Massage therapist to the stars, Jeffrey Paul. Ah, uh, you know what makes you know what makes I can't even say it. You know what makes you old, Sarah? <laughs> the way you pee standing up. Ah. <laughs> oh. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know why I was taken down that hard. I was trying to save people from emergency situations that own houses. Yeah, and then out of nowhere. And out then nowhere. there's no there's no there's like no uh comment prior. And then she could have called. She could have called. We could have had a talk about it. She could have called on Skype. Let me put them on my old man glasses for Sarah. <laughs> Fucking Sarah. <laughs> Fucking uh, Sarah. She said, "Well, you love list so much." Oh, she just make list. She just make a list. Yeah, she just made a list. Oh, you fucking. Mm. She said, at least I don't dribble. <laughs> at least I don't dribble. <laughs> Are you sure you really wanted to Skype with any of these people? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I love it, though. I love that she takes the time out of her day to fucking. Other people are safe because she takes me down. You know that, right? Yeah. People in her world have no idea that how gentle she's going, so she's able to take me down twice a week. Like last on, on Friday, she's like, "Are you gonna have lunch or what? I need to start my fucking weekend." And by the way, that's how deep her voice is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I love it. And by the way, lunch on Friday was fantastic. I had a good lunch, and you know what? Sarah's fucking gets to me. Sarah gets to me because I didn't have a salad on Friday because she's always fucking right. You're going to have another fucking salad again. <laughs> so I had a burger without a bun. She's in your head. She's in my head. She's got some space up there. Are you going to wear the sunglasses next week? Uh, I'm going to wear the sunglasses. I was going to wear contacts today, but I need some more time to put them in my eyes. Ugh, can't even find the list. I got fucking so upset on that. <laughs> 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 I was taken down so hard. I can't even I can't even see it. Mm, Sarah, Sarah, I hope you get, I hope you get hit by a hurricane, an earthquake, and a gang war all in the same afternoon. Good luck with that fucking emergency. Quit, quit. Oh fucking! Now she'll say that. Nice talk. You talk much. <laughs> you talk much. Good try. All right. Any more questions before we wrap it up? Because we got to get going. Make sure you buy your uh, Ian bag shirts. I'm tonight. I'm in Hermosa Beach, California, at the Comedy and Magic Club. I uh, love it if you came out. We're going to do a quick little promo, let the people know where I'm going to be. Uh, if anybody wears a, a skirt with uh, no panties, you get $5 off. Some, du- some dude's going to wear a skirt with no panties. Is this what you wanted to see? <laughs> no, you don't get a discount on my shows, motherfuckers. Uh, we, got, uh, we got Pasadena Ice House coming up at the end of the month, and people have been requesting. They have been requesting some guest passes. I'm now on a door deal at Pasadena. So I make no money unless you pay. So here's the, here's the scoop. If you want two for one tickets, I'll do that for you. That way I make some money and you have a good time. Two for one tickets from the Pasadena Ice House and Ian Bag. Um, just contact me on Ian Bag Comedy on Facebook or send me a message at Ian Bag Show Gmail. Uh, I got coming up this weekend. I will be in Detroit for the um, for the for the roast. You can go to my website for that. Next week I will be in Pittsburgh. Can't wait. I will be in Pittsburgh from Wednesday morning until until Saturday night, and then I'll be heading off to Terrace, British Columbia. So Wednesday through Saturday for uh, Pittsburgh. What else we got going on? Anything else we want to say, guys? Uh, make sure, uh, if you know somebody, here's the people I'm looking to talk to on the show. I'm looking for somebody, that, an insurance adjuster or an insurance agent. I'm looking for a banker. I need to talk to an actual banker. We've had, a, we've had somebody that does mortgages, a mortgage broker, but I'm looking for a banker. I'm also looking for a flooring expert. I'm also looking for a fencing expert. I've also had a question about wood deck can you replace is it better to replace the wood deck or is it better to actually do work on the wood that's there i need somebody to let me know you don't have to be on the show to answer that question but if you contact me i will send the question and you're an expert you can answer that at that question and we can put it on the air uh also uh i want to know if anybody has a dog door if you have a dog door i'd like to hear your questions comments and reviews of having a dog door because lately I've heard about animals that are not your pet going through those dog doors so get a hold of me on that 
All right, so you guys can write that down. Uh oh, here comes Renee. We know it's gonna be another comment from fucking Jesus. Hey, bitch tits, wrap it up. What's that, Sarah? What? From Josh. From Josh. Can you talk about what's going on through your mind when Scott's Miracle Girl was at the Funny Bone on Saturday? All right. So, uh, Saturday night, first show, uh, uh, Scott's Miracle Girl. Scott's some sort of company, Scott's something, bought 110 tickets to my show for a, par- a company party for people that have worked at Scott's Grow over 20 years. The staff did not tell me this was going on. The staff just did, told me that, oh, there's a group in there. That's all they said. They didn't tell me that there was 110 old people at the front of the fucking room. <laughs> and I'm talking about anybody that's worked for the company for 20 years. So there's people that have worked the company for 40 years and been retired for 20 years. There was a couple that had been married for 62 years there. Wow. And yeah, 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 exactly. Not my target audience. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so I get on stage and I just like, I was just like, I was overtaken. I was like, what the, and cause the guy that was opening up for me, Bobby, Bobby beers, Bobby balls, Bobby, Bobby, he's a good guy. He's uh, he's, he's young. He was rocking, but he it seemed like he wasn't doing that well when I went into the, into there. So I just kind of, peeked in and it was, it was a little, I didn't I didn't see what was going on and as I walked in and as I walked on the stage I was like what the fuck is going on here so I took them down for a little bit actually I took them down the whole show but the interesting part was uh, I was like how about that how about <laughs> I go how about those motherfuckers at Roundup killing everybody right <laughs> and this is what they say don't talk about that we own that <laughs> <laughs> So I start talking about the Roundup fucking lawsuit and what how Roundup's giving everybody cancer and fucking all they say to me afterwards. Well, you're not supposed to spray it in your mouth, fucking idiots. <laughs> it kills things. You can't believe you got cancer from something that kills things. Holy shit! I can't believe this gun shot me in the foot when I pushed the trigger. Come on, it's Roundup. It kills things. That's gonna give you cancer, of course, fucking asshole. Anyways, I had a great time with them. The people from Scott's Miracle Grow. Uh, so much fun. I met, uh, I've probably met um, uh, the golden years of Scott's Miracle Grow. And by the way, Scott isn't a guy. It's two brothers and their last name's Scott. So just for those people out there. And let that be a lesson. If you're going to use weed killer, it's poison. Be careful with it. Wear a mask. Spray it in your stuff and then hose it off or something later on after it kills everything. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ian Bagg. Your name is the audience. Sarah Newberger is my dick. It pays attention. I, you're, I didn't, sorry, I didn't mean to call you a dick, Sarah. Sarah's a vag. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's a fucking angry little vag. <laughs> uh, I thank you guys for paying attention and listening to the show. It really means a lot. I always have fun with you. We'll see you again next week. I told you what I'm looking for. Let's wrap this show up. Mm-hmm. To infinity and beyond. <laughs>